As we continue our look at heaven, we start today's message with an anecdote from the life of John Quincy Adams, which says this, One day in his 80th year, he was approached by a friend who said, And how is John Quincy Adams today? And the former president of the United States replied graciously, Oh, thank you. John Quincy Adams is well, sir, quite well. I thank you. But the house in which he lives at present is becoming quite dilapidated. It is tottering upon its foundations. Time and the seasons have nearly destroyed it. Its roof is well worn out, its walls are much shattered, and it trembles with every wind. The old tenement is becoming almost uninhabitable and I think John Quincy Adams will have to move out of it soon. But he himself is quite well, sir, quite well. And with this, the statesman, leaning heavily upon his cane, moves slowly down the street. You know, our fleshly form that we inhabit is frail and failing. We must remember that the buildings that we currently occupy we're not built to last forever. It's important to have a heavenly perspective. It's important to be able to look forward to the very real and very physical promises that await those whom Christ has saved. Paul says that when the earthly tabernacle of our body is gone, that we will receive a new building from God in heaven. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 2 says, In this house we groan, longing to be clothed with our dwelling from heaven. Are you sick? Do you battle your body? The knowledge and assurance believers have of heaven is the very thing that helps us endure the struggles of this life and glorify God. All our pains, all our groanings will be ended when we take that promise and are finally clothed with a heavenly body, all with the same amazing properties of Christ's resurrection body. Such a wonderful promise from God allows us to, like it says in Romans 12, verse 12, to be joyful in hope. In this body, we groan because we're burdened by sin, by sickness, by sorrow, and even death. We long for both our spirit and our body to enter the presence of God, that perfect presence of God, and have real and everlasting peace and joy. And the good news is that that's God's plan for his people too. Please pray with me. Father, you are so amazing. Thank you for who you are and all that you've done for us. Thank you for our Redeemer, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who took our sins and gave us his righteousness. Thank you that one day in heaven we will have perfect bodies, healed, changed, glorified, made like your own. Help us, Lord, because there's a tendency for us to hold tightly to this world because it's all we know. And we have relationships that are built here and we, we too easily think of this as our home. But this isn't our home. Our home is with you. Such knowledge is what helps us endure. Help us to look forward to being absent from the body and present with you. Help us to become more preoccupied with the glories of eternity than we are with the attractions or trials of today. Help us trust in you. Help us to mature in your word. Help us to be of good courage and to walk by faith and not by sight until we're finally home with you. Thanks to our Savior and your Son in whose name we pray. Jesus Christ, thank you. Amen. We hope you enjoy these messages. If you do, we encourage you to subscribe. We encourage you to like the video and share them. 
we also encourage you to check us out online. There's lots of other things we do. You can find out more about us and how to get our free weekly messages uh, and phone calls. You can also find out how to support us. All that can be found out at our new website, wingsandprayer.org. And if you have questions or if you have suggestions for future videos, you can email me. Um, email address would be Pastor Michael at wingsandprayer.org. You're also able to find us on Facebook and on Twitter. And we thank you for listening. And I hope that God's grace will be with you until we talk again. Take care.